Hey guys, so lately I've been doing a lot of cleaning, uh, getting rid of some stuff that I've had at my parents' house, kind of in storage. Just going through some old things that has been stored away there. And uh, I'm coming across, I'm looking off screen because I'm looking at the thing that I want to talk about. I've been coming across all these old boxes with toys and just kind of like random junk from the 90s and 2000s in it. I thought it'd be really cool to do a video kind of unboxing them and sharing them with you guys. Maybe you have memories of the same things that I have. Um, just kind of want to share it. So <laughs> what I have here is um, a bunch of toys and junk in the Scholastic box, which how retro is that, right? <laughs> um, there's actually used to have a pack of Clifford books in it. Uh, depending on how you feel about Clifford, unfortunately, this box doesn't have that in it anymore. Um, it's just junk. So um, this was actually has a date on it from 2002. So the box itself is almost 20 years old. Uh, the things inside it are even older than that. So uh, let's unbox this and take a look and see what's in here. I already took a peek, by the way. So one of the first things on top is this old dollar store dart gun. I think there's, yep, yeah. There's a clip for it. Oop. A clip that goes into it. Um, it's pretty cool. It says 1991 on it. So um, that's, yeah, 20 years old, I guess, this year. Uh, it's from Imperial. Uh, it's cool, though. I always really like these old, like, dollar store toys. Uh, just always thought they were really cool. They always have, like, a lot of knockoff things. So I like that kind of stuff. You don't usually find this in the regular big box stores. So I see this thing um, that caught my eye and I have no idea what it is or what it's from. Maybe you guys can let me know if you know. Um, it says 2000 Trendmasters Inc. on it. I think this is like a shell that comes off. I don't want to break it, but it looks like it pops off. Yep, there we go. Okay, so it looks like there's like a back and uh, I don't know if that's a battery that goes in or something like that. Uh, let me see if I can pop this front off. Yeah, it's kind of cool though. It almost has like a evil Knievel look to it. I don't know if those stickers on the side came with it or that was added on. A uh, little antenna. Oh, I guess the, this thing swirls. It's some kind of uh, remote control car robot thing. Uh, I remember the late 90s and 2000s always had a bunch of stuff like this um, I really love that kind of like futuristic design from back then uh, just really cool uh, I gotta do, do some digging I'm not sure what this is uh, again if you guys know uh, definitely let me know and um, I'll try to do a Google search and see if I can find anything So this, I believe this is um, a Power Rangers toy. If I recall, yeah, this opens up and then it's like kind of like a gun. And yeah, this flips out. Yeah, so you can kind of point it, shoot. Or I, I don't know, maybe that's, yeah, I think that's the gun because it has the hole there. And then I think it flips out. And I think this, yeah, is, is it supposed to be like that? Or, yeah, I think it becomes like a sword. Um, I don't know if the batteries are dead in it. I, yeah, they're obviously dead, but the lights uh, would light up and everything I remember and make a few sounds. Uh, really cool though. I was pretty big into Power Rangers. Somewhere I have a lot more toys than this. Um, but pretty cool. I don't remember if this was the space one or 
uh, what it was from. I think it's Power Rangers, but I'll, I'll have to double check and make it uh, take a look. It says Bandai on it from 97. So I think that's a good indication, but we'll have to take a look and see. So taking a look at this, uh, Bernie Bots uh, Jelly Beans, one of the bags from the uh, Harry Potter franchise. I think there's no jelly beans inside, but a football. Uh, I think this is a football from a stress ball from a ceramic store that was local here. It says old country ceramic tile on it. You can barely see it. It's rubbed off. But that's cool. I remember uh, Harry Potter had just came out the movies when I was a kid and I remember that was so big. I had like the potion set and everything. You could like mix up stuff and make drinks. And I think my sister had uh, like a training thing with the wand and I think the ball moved through the air. Uh, I don't remember how that worked. Uh, maybe I can find that somewhere. So I got uh, a tech deck card. It was Fred. Oh, looks like it's ripped a little bit. Um, that's cool. <laughs> I used to always really like tech decks. I don't think I ever had like a lot of them. I remember at one point my friend gave me um, his ramp set and that was cool. But I don't remember actually having that many of them. This next thing, this has to be, yeah, uh, Monsters, Inc. It looks like this plugs into the wall I'm guessing I don't know if this is like a night light or something this is 2001 uh, Spin Master Toys pretty cool though um, I have to try it out see if it works I don't know if, oh you know what this this looks like it might light up it ha feels like um, transparent I forgot what that's called um, it's pretty cool though Bye, kids. <laughs> uh, when was this? God, I don't remember when that came out. This must have been um, a kid's toy or something from maybe McDonald's or Wendy's. Uh, uh, looks like this is like an invisible marker set. And I'm assuming you write whatever your secret message is and then you use the other side to decode it. It looks pretty dried out, so I don't think it'll uh, still work. But you can kind of see see it faintly. It says Spy Kids on there. Pretty cool, though. Got a keychain whoopee cushion. Still works. <laughs> um, an old, uh, probably from the dollar store. I don't know if you can hear it batteries are just about dead on it surprised it still works um, but yeah this cool old little junky phone <laughs> looks like there was probably an antenna on it must have busted off so apparently I have a lot of these tech deck cards um, this is Obo oh I didn't even realize there's like a bio on the back um, this guy, Operation, is a mortgage banker. Hometown circus, hobbies, skateboarding, traveling, education, Harvard, favorite food, hot dogs, favorite TV show, Mr. Rogers, favorite band, Insane Clown Posse. That's pretty funny. <laughs> um, what do we got? There's like Elvis looking guy, Spin. Uh, or maybe it's more disco. Oh yeah, probably Saturday Night Fever. Um, occupation, travel agent, hometown Ohio, hobby, skateboarding, clubbing, education, little to none. Uh, favorite food is oysters. Favorite TV show, Disco Fever. Favorite band, the Bee Gees, of course. Then, who do we got? What is this, Tech? Or Tech, maybe that is? Um, a mechanic from Detroit. Love skateboarding, laser tag, and video games. Education, Murray's House of Salvage, uh, Food, Cheesesteak Sandwich, TV Show, Home Improvement, Favorite Band, Nine Inch Nails. 
That's funny. <laughs> we got Bruce. He's a chef from Hong Kong. He loves skateboarding and acupuncture. Uh, education. What's the matter with you? <laughs> Favorite food? Shrimp fried rice. Favorite TV show? Jackie Chan movies. Favorite band? Susie Wong and the Highlighters. Um, weren't these like skull and bones or crazy bones or something? I think yeah, crazy bones. Is that what they're called? Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, manufactured for MCD Corp. Yeah, because I was gonna say I'm pretty sure these were um, McDonald's toys that I got um, in the kids' meals. I have a few of them. The sky, uh, cool color. Little ghost. Are these all? I'm pretty sure they're all from McDonald's. I thought I. Might have had a couple more, yeah. You got another guy, same thing, McDonald's. Yep, got another one. Oh, this guy's cool. I like that one. <laughs> Man, I remember those were like so big for a brief moment in time. Looks like we got another one. I don't know if that's supposed to be like that. Marble, maybe. Looks like the top is. Um, I think that's it for them. So, what else do we have in here? Looks like we have a little Tamagotchi keychain. There's wheels on the back. And you can move them and switch the uh, character. See if you could get a good look at that. I think this was from McDonald's as well. Man, yeah, manufactured for McDonald's 1997 Bandai. So that's pretty cool. Nice little piece of history. This, um, obviously from Batman Returns. Pretty cool. I always love these like little car things. Uh, as the wheels turn, the uh, front spins, the umbrella. Uh, it says 1991 DC Comics Inc. I believe this is a McDonald's toy as well, but I'm not 100% sure. Looks like a keychain of uh, Hedwig, I think his name was. It's like a little zipper pouch. I don't see anything inside, but I guess you could store stuff in there. So, that's pretty cool. Okay. Uh, here we go. Got hit clips. I don't even remember this band. Tick in tack. Upside down. So, I don't know if anyone remembers, you get these little um, clips of different songs and everything. You pop them into the player. And then, it has this little uh, earpiece, and then you can play the song. Which, actually, it still works. I don't know if you can pick it up. Actually, really surprised that the batteries on this are still good. That's pretty cool though, hit clips. <laughs> Man, that's a huge throwback. I remember I was so pumped when I got um, the hit clips. I think I had uh, Smash Mouth, uh, which I absolutely loved at the time. <laughs> uh, I think this is my sister's though. I had, I wanna say a red one, so. Um, what do we got in here? Some more tech deck cards. Oh, looks like some Pokemon cards. There we go. There we go. There we go. It's pretty cool. Let's 
Nice. Um, of course, not as cool as the tech deck cards. Um, looks like a Digimon card game tip. That's cool. So I got a bag of... I don't think they're really Pokemon cards. Oh, there are some Pokemon cards in here. Because I got this... Uh, what is this? Moltres? Oddish. Primate. Electrode. Uh, oh, let me grab that. Dragon Ball Z. So from Mewtwo Strikes Back, collectible movie scene. Clea Fairy. Dragon Ball Z. There we go. Sparrow. I don't know what these cards would have been from. It's Nurse Joy. This Burger King thing. Let's see, can I pull this out? That's, I'm guessing that that's what they're from. From back from the first movie. Can you guys see that? Let me put this down. So it looks like this thing folds out. You have this. It's interesting, I guess. Um, some Burger King collectible cards. <laughs> oh, this is cool. Um, I don't know if you guys know what this is um this is star wars toy one of the uh uh i don't know if it's just strictly for jedis or not but the hologram thing i guess not because i remember i think i remember the clone troopers using them as well but you kind of hold it out in your hand and then the thing pops up obviously this thing doesn't do it but in the star wars universe it would do it it's cool i like these little things but I think that's about wraps it up. Um, that's all the stuff that's probably interesting anyway. So yeah, we'll uh, end it here. Uh, that's it for the Scholastic box. And yeah, I'll uh, probably grab another box. We'll go through it and uh, see what else we can find in there. So thanks for checking this out.